Today's horoscope and tarot from Astro Academy, Capricorn March 20th, 2022. Cooperation comes more easily today, and it works in your favor. While you're giving a lot of thought to your career and the path it's taking, today is about examining and analyzing, but not to the point of stressing yourself out. Focusing on the positive side of your goals as inspiration can be helpful now. A Mercury-Venus parallel keeps things pleasant, open, and friendly, making it a good time for both work and play. A Sun-Uranus aspect also influencing today puts you in fine form for hopes and dreams. New ideas and potential ventures inspire you. You might break through a barrier or problem, which comes as a pleasant relief. You're in excellent shape for coming up with creative and exciting ideas for future projects. You'll be breaking ground, but since we're just a day behind the new moon, putting plans into motion should wait for later. You feel less inhibited, and you can experience more emotional clarity after or through sharing your thoughts or feelings with a friend. Is it strictly business or are you crushing? The sun continues to energize your 11th house of associations, community, and sense of belonging in the world, bringing greater emphasis to themes surrounding your social networks and desire for individual freedom. With the sun approaching a sweet sextile to Uranus in your sign exact tomorrow, it's no wonder your desire to explore other horizons is so magnified at this time. And with both Mars and your planetary ruler, Venus, roaming through your exotic ninth house of adventure, one thing's for sure, you're willing to do whatever it takes to succeed, even if that means venturing out of your comfort zone. Does it feel like all eyes are on you? With the moon now in fixed Aquarius, you could feel like you are in the spotlight regarding your work. Luna could imply that you are being recognized for a feat, perhaps something that has to do with technology or even your online platforms. Recognition will come from your greater professional community and network, so you may receive words of praise from unlikely but welcome colleagues. But since you are in the public eye, be mindful of how you position yourself on and offline so that any recognition is solely positive. Just four days before Venus, the planet of money is not only due to return to your career sector but bring Mars with her, the moon wraps up its monthly visit. As well as leaving you with your professional instincts and imagination fueled, a friendly aspect to series in your income sector has left you with a better sense of your income needs and priorities. This comes just days before Venus will start steering this professional year in a lucrative direction. You're feeling feisty, but don't jump all up in people's grills. Most of what they say will be pretty low-key, but if you misinterpret their words, you might be asking for trouble. Instead of fighting back, just keep moving along. It's better that way. With today's astral energy at play, you might feel driven by a cause. Just don't let it drive you crazy. The urge to fix things, and even people, can lead you down a path of frustration. Take the time and do some kind of exercise that creates a meditative state. Repetitive exercise such as yoga or a series of laps on a track and give you the distance that you need. You will feel more at peace with yourself, too. Independence is definitely something the essence of this day can encourage for you. You probably prefer to work within the comfort of a partnership, however developing your own individual abilities is essential. Going off on your own to enrich your talents and to gain more skills will allow for the personal development that brings so much to every partnership you're involved in. Take the time to let the essence of this day work through you toward gaining greater self-reliance and independence. The moon's departure from Virgo today will bring last full moon to a close, allowing any tension or strong emotional responses over the last few days to drop back. As the full moon that sits at the halfway point in every solar year, its job is to push buttons and play devil's advocate, waking you up to your needs and priorities at a time when there is a chance to push the reset button. It is the things that either created stress or evoked strong reactions over the last few days that were simply a means of revealing those needs. In a case of perfect timing, just as the moon leaves Virgo, wrapping up a full moon that put a balance between your personal and relationship needs to the test, 
the stars align on the communication and relationship fronts. Unlike a brief coming together earlier in the week, this time they will remain aligned for the rest of the month, long enough to give anything exposed or triggered over the last few days a voice. Your tarot reading for today. The Empress, the Chariot and the Fool. The cards show that you are now in a period favorable to personal development. This idea of getting better is highlighted by the cards you have selected which show that at work, and in your personal projects, you are adopting a new attitude and a new way of looking at things. Nowadays you tend to think more about the consequences of your acts, there is no question of doing things at random and making the same mistakes as in the past. This new dynamic opens many doors that go beyond your personal projects. On the emotional level, you learn unexpected news that should comfort you tremendously in the coming weeks. The new open doors in your draw are major challenges in your life and show that you are going through a critical period during which many things could change. You will however find compromises to successfully link your personal development with your emotional fulfillment. This man who seems to occupy an important place in your draw is also part of this new dynamic. He shows that by dint of patience and determination your life project seems to be finally taking off. Your draw is placed under the sign of success and happiness, and shows that these new opportunities are a major issue in your life. Today, you have all the qualities and advantages you need to open the doors that should bring you a little closer to your dreams every day. Our Eyes in the Sky Venus, the planet of love and money, squares off with Neptune, the planet of dreams and illusion. The energy will be tough to adjust to because you could feel uncertain and paranoid about relationships and money. Venus, which is currently in Sagittarius, just escaped its connection with the south node of destiny, which made us all feel insecure or lovesick or raised financial issues. Neptune is currently retrograde in Pisces. When these two planets square off, it can cause a lot of fogginess around partnerships and investments. Therefore, this isn't a good day for speculative gambles or investing in the stock market. Any investments made today may not yield as much profit as initially anticipated. Also, we could be too trusting of those who advise us on increasing our portfolios when they don't have our best interests at heart.